Hi guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very exciting one. I'm currently in my new car. I posted some pictures on my Instagram, so some of you already may know, but if you didn't, I bought myself a Tesla Model Y. Here she is, my new baby. I cannot believe that this is my first car. Before we talk about anything else, I would just like to say I am beyond grateful. Like you guys have no idea how thankful I am. Thank you to God. Thank you to my parents for allowing me to purchase this. And of course, thank you so much to you guys for supporting me and letting me do what I love. But I'm so fortunate to have been saving for a few years now. I've been working ever since I was 10. So to be able to buy this, it's just so crazy. And I'm so, so thankful. But in today's video, you guys are gonna see my first reaction to getting the car, like when it was delivered and my first time driving it. I'm gonna answer some questions and then also film a car tour. I'm so excited to share this car with you guys. Stay tuned for so many more car vlogs and just like driving videos. But again, I'm just so thankful. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And here is some footage from a few days ago when my car was delivered. So when I first saw it and I first drove it. It is 8.57 p.m. and we're driving home from a dance call. So that's why I look so crazy right now. Like my face looks busted <laughs> and my eyelash is literally falling off. We are like a minute away from home and my car got delivered today. So it's my first time seeing it. I'm so excited. So I decided to vlog. Sorry, I don't have my camera on me, so I just turned on my phone. Yeah, we're about to pull up to the house right now. There's me and Christian in the garage. In city. In city. Just waiting. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Update still look kind of busted, but I put on some cuter clothes so that I could take a picture. But I'm about to enter my car for the first time. And then I think we're gonna take it out for like a small drive. Ready, guys? <laughs> Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Dude. What the heck is life? <laughs> okay, we got the fam in the car. Sorry, it's such bad lighting. Oh my! There's no roof! Dude, look at the... Wait, yeah, what like is a it? studio mirror. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna try and set up my profile right now. Like, where my seat is and stuff. Okay, guys. I am driving. Is that me in the Yes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get used to the breaking. Yeah. I mean, I think you'll get used to it now. Come on. Yeah. And now here we are about a week later. I've been trying to drive my car at least a little bit every single day But like to be honest, I haven't driven it that far because everywhere that I go is only a couple miles away from my house Like to school or restaurants like it's not that far away So I feel like i'm still getting used to all the controls and like how the car drives But just having it for this one week. I am so in love with this car. I don't know I just feel like it's perfect and I love it so much Oh my gosh, I bought a car tripod, but it's not working out <laughs> But before I get into the car tour, I wanted to answer some questions. First one being, when did you order the car and how long did it take to deliver? We actually ordered this all the way back in September, literally four months ago, because we knew it was gonna take a little bit to ship and deliver to the house. So we wanted it to come around my birthday since I turned 16 December 8th of 2021. I don't know why I couldn't think of my birthday, but I passed my license test December 10th. So like we wanted it to come around that time, but I ended up postponing a month because I think a lot of people are buying Teslas or something. I don't know the exact reason, but it just got back ordered like a month and didn't come until January 15th. So it delivered to the house and you guys saw all that footage. My family bought a pink bow and put it on the car. I love them so much and they know me so well. Second question is what made you decide to buy a Tesla as your first car? So obviously I think this car is very cool. And then I also wanted a white car. So when I was researching for stuff and I saw this car, I was like, that is absolutely beautiful and then another plus is that it's good for the planet so this is an electric car which means you don't have to use gas and you have like your own charger at home and then as i'm driving it more i'm just falling in love with all the controls and stuff i feel very safe in this car like it's very spacious and i just really enjoy it those are the two questions that i wanted to answer but now we're going to do a car tour so first i'm going to take you guys outside of the car so you guys can see the exterior all right here is the exterior of my car again i got the white color but in terms of the key it's actually my phone it's really bright outside so i don't know if you guys can see it but there's the tesla app and it's bluetooth connected so whenever i have my phone then i can open my car not only is it the key but you can also control like the climate you can open the trunk and the front for the other keys there's also the key cards so then if i didn't have my phone then i can use one of those and then there's also the key fob but again mainly it's just my phone all right so let's go to the driver's seat and open my car this is how you open my car a lot of people get confused <laughs> but you basically get your thumb push in 
and then open it like that. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, so this is the interior of my car. First, I'll take you guys through the front seat and then in a minute, I'll go back there. But like I said earlier, it's so spacious and comfortable and I just love sitting in here. But this is the driver's seat, looks like this. This is my point of view. This is what the wheel looks like. It's so nice. You have the stocks right here. This one controls reverse, neutral drive, and then park. You just like click it in like that. And then this one controls the left and right. So if you wanna go right, go like that. If you wanna go left, go like this. And then as you can see, if I do that, it shows up on the screen like my blind spot, which I think is so cool. And then this is what the side looks like. This button is to open the door. So you literally just click it and then the door opens like this. Right here is to control all the windows and then there's some space down there, but I don't have anything right there. Next we go to the screen. As you can see, there's nothing else on the dashboard. Literally everything is on this iPad. There's so many different things on here to show you guys, but I'll just show you like the main stuff. On this side, it shows your car so you can lock it by pressing that. You can also open the frunk or the trunk. And then if I open my door, it will show. Same thing with the other ones. If they were open, then it would show like that. Okay, and then let me close it. <laughs> on this side so there's different like icons that you can do this is for controls so you can do there's stuff for windows child lock windshield wipers mirrors steering oh and then another thing is this is my profile my dad and my mom also have a profile but basically it's kind of like if you tap on it then it will go to all of your settings like where you sit and like how close your wheel is. So if I were to change the setting to my dad, then it would adjust to his settings of like how close he wants all of this stuff. Okay, and then along with other controls, there's like pedals and steering, charging autopilot, which by the way, I haven't tried autopilot yet, but like, yes, this car can drive by itself. I don't know when I'm gonna try it. I'm low key scared, but I definitely wanna try it out soon. I didn't get full self-driving mode, which is like 10,000 or 12,000 more dollars. I just have autopilot, which every Tesla comes with, but I will definitely let you guys know the first time I'm gonna try it. But obviously that's a key feature to a Tesla. And then along with the controls, there's more stuff like lighting, display, all that stuff. Um, but then down here, there's some more icons. Like here's phone. Oh, <laughs> it's showing a bunch of numbers. But basically, I connected it to my phone, like, like the Bluetooth and everything, so I can make calls. One of my favorites is obviously the Spotify one because this is where I listen to all of my music. Again, since it's connected to my Bluetooth, I can literally access any of my songs or playlists on here and just play anything. There's also like the daily mixes that Spotify makes, and you can literally just scroll through anything you want. And then these three dots are some more applications. So you have like calendar messages theater there's literally karaoke you can do and then some of my favorite things there's arcade let's say you're parked or like you're charging your car and if you have some downtime you can literally play games to kill time this one's really popular it's beach buggy racing and it's kind of like mario kart but you actually use the wheel to like steer and stuff and then the other one i really like is toy box there's this thing called romance mode if you click on it it literally shows a fire and then it also blows out hot air like how cool is that <laughs> and then it plays like romantic music. I thought that was so fun. Another one of my favorites is the emissions one. It's a whoopee cushion. When there's people in the car, if you just press their seat, <laughs> it'll fart. <laughs> I feel like a five-year-old for laughing, but it's so funny. So those are some of the things that are on the screen. Oh, another one for the air con. You click that and then this will pop up. You can control like where the air goes because the vents are actually hidden under the dashboard. So then when you go like this, then the air will blow that way. Or if you want it to go this way, then it will. There's some for the rear seats and then you can control heat warmers too. So if I just turn these on, then the seats will get warm. Okay, so those are like the most popular features on the iPad. Again, I've only had it for like a week, so I'm still discovering new things. But then under that, this is where you can charge your phone. So there's two places where you can charge your phone. If you go like that, then it'll start charging. And then here's one of the compartments it comes with. You just go like this to open it. Currently, I have this little girl pouch in here. It's pink. I basically just wanted like a little girl pouch just in case I need some stuff. I have some tampons and panty liners, lip balm and lip gloss, a clock clip and rubber band, tie to go pen, and then also some cash. These are just like little essentials that I might need if I forget stuff at home or something. So I just put it in here. And then I also have this putty thing. <laughs> it's a dust cleaning gel. I just bought it off of Amazon, but it's literally kind of like slime, but it like cleans dust. You can just go like this to different parts of your car and <laughs> it cleans it. And of course I got it in pink. And that's all I have in that compartment. And to close it, you just push it like that. Okay. And then those are the two cup holders. And then we have the center console. So I don't really have too much in here. I just put some pink masks because I am always in need of face masks. So I just put it in here and then that's that. All right. And then over here to open that compartment, you press glove box and then it opens right there. So in here I have my car registration and insurance. I also bought this off of Amazon, it's just pink. Oh, 
I don't know if I can show that. <laughs> and then to close it, you just do it manually. Oh, I also forgot to show the navigation. If I wanted to go somewhere, I just search something and then it'll give me directions. And then here is the passenger seat. It's kind of like the same thing as the driver's seat. Like that's how you open the door. There's the window and then some more storage space over there, but I don't really have anything. Here's up top. There's two little lights. You just press them and then they turn on like that. And then there's my mirror. And then there's also mirrors right here. You just pull this down and pull this down. It's like really nice lighting. Like there's these two lights over here. All right, I think that is it for the driving seat area. Now let's go into the back seat. Welcome to the back seat. Here is my point of view. There are the seats. And then also there's a better view of the ceiling from back here. I don't think I mentioned this, but the whole ceiling is glass. And it's really nice because even if the sun's out and it's really bright, it's not like hot when it comes through the window. Also, I think there may be a few of you guys wondering why I got white seats because they make it dirty easily. First, I'm not going to have anyone eat in my car <laughs> just in case, you know. But I have heard if something does spill on the white seats, it's not that hard to get out. So I'm just hoping to keep my car clean and for not any major stains to happen. But yeah, these are what the seats look like on the sides. Same thing as the driver and passenger seat. You can open it like that and then the window window and then there's some storage space right there on the seat in front of me i can put like i don't know like a folder or something like paper documents and then this is how to control the air in the back and then same thing with that side last thing back here you can open the middle seat and then there's two cup holders right here and finally to end the car tour i'm going to show you guys the trunk and the front here's the back of my car i'm going to open the trunk with the app if i just click it, it should go like this and here is the trunk. There's a lot of space back here. As you can see, I don't really have anything yet, but you can actually open these and there's even more space. I've actually been thinking about if I wanna put stuff back here, maybe like a blanket or just like extra stuff that I might need. And then you can either close it on the app or press this button. And go like that and then finally if i walk around to the front of the car we have the front since a tesla does not have an engine they also have a front trunk which is called the front i'm going to open it from the app and it pops open like that you just lift the top and there's more space and this is where i keep the pink bow <laughs> and then to close it you have to do it with two hands you have to like push it down all right you guys this is going to be the end of the video again i am just so grateful for this car thank you guys for everything for all of your constant support i literally love you so so much and like i said earlier stay tuned for all the driving vlogs that are about to come out thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to like and comment down below subscribe to my channel turn on my post notifications and go cop some coolie merch i'll see you guys back with another video i love you guys so so much be positive bye <laughs>